Good morning, friends. It's Ms. Jones. Um, today is Monday, April 13th. So I wanted to give you the update on the salad box uh, passive hydroponic system. It is raining, so I had to pull this out of the rain. Um, you can see, I think we could safely say this has been a bust. Um, I'm gonna zoom it in close here. Lots of dead plants. And actually there is what looks like some mold growing. I've actually been checking on it every day. But you can see like there's algae or mildew growing on it. This one is still alive, but it's not growing. This is what's really interesting to me. Um, my kale's been eaten. <laughs> I have not seen a bug on it. And it's sitting on my on my concrete lanai. So I have no idea. It, it's some kind of caterpillar because you can see all the evidence of the caterpillar, but I don't I don't know what's coming in and eating it. It's definitely has not shown itself. Um, so this the company that makes this is called Hydrofoam and Hydrofoam actually made a YouTube video um, that I went and looked up to see you know why this isn't working out or maybe I did something wrong and when I watched the hydrofoam video uh, which I just did this morning um, <clears throat> one of the things that the the demonstrator did was when she took the seedlings out of their pots she didn't wash the roots off all she did was she took the roots in the soil and wrapped them up this is really confusing to me. And the only reason why I say it's confusing is because in the instructions, the verbiage says, make sure the seedlings are well watered. And maybe I didn't understand the instructions very well because I took that to mean, make sure that the roots are watered off. But it just said, make sure the seedlings are well watered. Also, it says on the box, and I point this out in my first video, that this is a soilless hydroponics system. So I didn't think I should put the seedlings in here with lots of soil because then I thought, oh, this is gonna get all dirty and where does the soil go? And a lot of the pictures of this show this system without any dirt or debris. So I think the instructions are a little unclear how to set this up. And again, when I went and I looked at this video, by hydrofoam, they took the, the the seedlings and they wrapped them up all kind of chunked with a lot of soil. So it really does seem like you do need soil in order to set this up. Um, and maybe that's, that's actually where a lot of the nutrients come from. But if that's the case, then why would you buy this system in the first place? Wouldn't you just stick them in the ground? I'm not really sure. But in any case, um, this didn't seem to work very well for me. Um, so I don't know, maybe somebody else has tried something like this and it works better. Um, hydroponic systems are usually not passive. Passive means it just sits and the water doesn't circulate. Usually there is a pump system and the water can circulate. So the next thing I'm gonna try to do is um, one with a pump system. I have one from Blue Zones, but I don't have any nutrients. So I have to get some, I can't find any locally, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to order some online. But once I do that, I'll get it all set up and then we'll try that. Um, I think we should have much more success. In the meantime, some of these surviving seedlings, I'm gonna try to plant in my garden to see if I can revive them. All right, that's all for now. See you later, navigators. Bye.